Hey, what's going on YouTube Swift, bringing you a brand new Dead Frontier 2 video. Today, we are going to go over how you can upgrade your vehicle. Start by going to Manage, and then under the Vehicle section, you have the different vehicle parts, which are the roof box, the cylinder heads, fuel injector, exhaust, and the tires. Up here, you can see your fuel in terms of gallons, capacity, miles per gallon, and then the miles per hour. If you have a vehicle part, whether it be in your vehicle's inventory or in your inventory, I'll show you both, but you can right click and then fit to where you would then replace the uh, vehicle part that you currently have equipped, which would in, in some cases be damaged when you start out. And you can go back at any time and then just uh, from your inventory, you can also do that as well. What you then want to do is go to the trader and you can then research with the marketplace, the various uh, vehicle parts and then the different grades, kind of see what works for you. If you're on a limited budget in terms of cash on hand, say you have, you know, 5000 to spend, but you want to spend it on the vehicle, what you can go ahead and do is under any statue, scroll down to any of these four skills. And uh, specific to vehicle, I think the, the most important is going to kind of be a tie between inventory slots and MPG. It's up to you. You can't go wrong with either. What I would do is it just depends on, you know, how much stash storage space you have. You know, if a lot of your space and your trader slots are taken up, etc., then you want to go inventory slots. If you're traveling a lot more kind of between the outposts, then you want your MPG to be a bit higher. Obviously, fuel capacity to get from point A to point B, you know. Uh, MPH is probably the lesser of all of them, but it wouldn't hurt if you get you know, a good combination. Say a good roll on a rare. I mean, you may as well, but generally speaking, I would just stick with those uh, with inventory and MPG. What you do is, let's just say inventory is the most uh, important to you. Go to superior, go to inventory and search. And this will give you all of the superior uh, vehicle parts at a glance that have at least the vehicle inventory slot available on the item and you can also see with superior you will get instances of having two sometimes very rarely you can have three skills like you can see here this is very rare um for 50 bucks you know you get three this would be an example of where you would buy this roof box and then use a rare enhancer on it you know you're guaranteed to at least have three of the four relevant skills. So then you would just be looking for MPH, which, you know, would be great if you got that too. But you kind of go through these. This isn't actually bad for 52 bucks. Fuel capacity, you may as well. You know, after you bought a few, you're kind of like, all right, well, I do want to upgrade. And take it to the next level. You can go and... There are plenty of options, uh, not so much in the cheaper prices, you know, especially after a video like this, there could be a rush to the market to buy some of these. So when you see them, you should get them probably. Uh, that said, you can go through and kind of make the judgment call. For 389 bucks, you're only going to get two inventory slots, but you're going to get decent stats otherwise for everything else. For a roof box if you wanted to be specific and kind of go through and just say okay well i want to get you know better like i just want to have a better role here i want to get a more overall quality uh equipment here for a thousand bucks this would probably be one candidate that you would say, okay, well, this is a good one to buy. You right-click buy, 
Are you sure you wish to buy? And then you would say yes. I'm saying no for the demo, but uh, then once you buy, you fit the vehicle and then replace the damaged parts by selling here in the trader. You can see I have an example here. Uh, damaged fuel injector. They'll still sell for a fair price. So let's just say you pay a couple thousand for an exhaust and then you sold a lot of your damage for, you know, 500, 700 each. I mean, you're going to make this money back you know, enough to buy a couple rare vehicle parts, right? So just take a, I mean, th to me, this would be how you kind of really gauge it is, okay, I bought an exhaust that has ABC in exchange for selling a damaged vehicle part, which I got for free anyway from uh, the vehicle. So uh, that's one way to look at that. All in all, once you're done with the, uh, adding those upgrades, you can go to your character, full stats, and then you can go under the vehicle section. And then you can see your miles per hour, miles per gallon, fuel, and inventory slots are. These are my stats. Uh, me personally, I think uh, what I would try to do is increase the miles per gallon maybe slightly go with lesser fuel uh, capacity and then try to go for more inventory slot i'm okay going down a few um uh, notches here on fuel so you know being back in like the mid 20s but then inventory is going to have to increase that's how i'm viewing it right if i'm going to do make that trade-off then i need to see inventory go up to like 70 or something right i need it to be worth the while uh, you know do i refill the fuel all that often not really and this is plenty for like a week i mean this this will take you a long time to go through so uh just think of it you know what, what what's most important to you and then as far as the skills go if you were to add a point for the trucker skill you're going to get an increase to some of these skills or actually probably i think all of these skills uh i think it's 10 percent each i'll give you i'll i'll give the full uh percentages in the description because offhand I, I don't know them i think it's 10 percent each though but then you would have say 226 224 etc and i think the maximum is 300 percent for any of them so th th this gives you an idea of without the skill, the trucker skill, you can be very close to maxing out, but you, you know, you'd have to get all 50 basically to really get to 250. You're not going to make the 300 without trucker, but maybe inventory, maybe that is important enough where you would. You could, I mean, you can get it to in the, you know, 220, 230 range, 240, 250. So that's one thing to think about too thanks for watching i appreciate your support feel free to like the video subscribe if you are new to the channel and we'll catch you on the next video peace